Hello everybody, it's Bob Anderson, and I'm going to do a video that discusses some research that myself and a uh, subscriber have been working on for, I'd say, about a week or so now. Uh, he's, he's done a tremendous amount of work. I, I didn't get approval to actually say his name, so I'll call him by his first name for now. His name is Matt. Uh, Matt contacted me a few weeks ago and said, uh, you know, said, hey, I really love your strategy and kind of gave me a little bit of background on himself in his, in his email. And uh, he and I had a lot of commonalities. But in there, he, I could tell he knew what he was talking about. And uh, he just kind of threw it out there that he wouldn't mind trying to work with me to possibly optimize my strategies. So we, so I was like, yeah, sure, because I don't have time. Um, and so we're, we started with the continuation trade. We're probably going to work on the five-minute gold line trade next, and then we're going to probably leave the overnight open trade for last. I don't foresee all those getting optimized and debugged until next year. But one of the things I wanted to talk about before I get too far into this is that... Uh, there are phases of a trader, okay? And there, where th that traders go through to become profitable. And uh, for most people, it, uh, the, the one phase that they ultimately enter if they're gonna become profitable um, and may not ever evolve to the other two phases is, is uh, to become basically robotic, mechanical. Um, and, and where there, where you, where you, where you have a strategy that you have an edge that you've built confidence in and that you feel that you can actually execute on a consistent basis so that if the profitability graph of, of that strategy is here, you're getting as much of that profitability as you can. Humans still make mistakes. Um, <laughs> and uh, ironically, normally uh, you make a mistake on 100% of the trades you, you, you end up losing anyways. <laughs> it's funny how that works. But anyways, um, so, so the first stage that people need to get to is being mechanical in trading. Um, you know, the last stage is intuitive. Um, very few people ever get to the point where they're intuitive in the market. And even when you do become intuitive, you have to be willing to risk more money than, uh, than I say would be willing to do. So what I'm talking about now is like my continuation trade. When I was hot and heavy working on it and, and having it work for me was through the summer you know, June, July, August. Um, and that's a tough time to trade of anybody that's been trading. Um, but then when the market starts freeing up, things start moving a little differently and you might want to reevaluate things. Well, the market's been pretty edgy lately um, because the bulls and the bears are fighting pretty hard. So there's, uh, you know, there's those trying to drive it down and there's the Federal Reserve trying to drive it back up. <laughs> so anyways... And don't fight the Fed. But anyways, um, I bring that up because what Matt and I started doing was we, we just randomly picked some days. So we ended up from when we started discussing each other, talking to each other. So we, we just picked randomly October 24th all the way to November 4th. And we removed FOMC day as our data set. And then what we and then what he did is he would run simulations um, of different sets of uh, targets, different sets of um, stop losses, and things like that. And I kept I kept telling Matt, listen, listen, listen. There's enough money to be made between nine forty five and ten thirty. That that's really you know because we're doing so much data testing and stuff, we really need to focus on that. Yes, you can make money from 8.30 to 9.20, and you can make money from 10.30 to 12 or whatever, but, but this is where we need to focus. 
So that's what, you know, so that our job didn't get too big. Our data didn't get too big. And so what he would do is he would videotape him setting these trades up and then running them. And then he'd send me the videos and I'd critique them on my big, huge widescreen TV. I'd stand there in front of the TV and go through every video. I mean, I did this for days. Um, and uh, it helped me clear my mind through some things. Um, anyways, what we ended up doing was, um, so what it ended up being was is basically eight trading days. And it turned out from my strategy, the continuation strategy only, this is all we talked about was the continuation, was that in those eight days, there was only 18 trades. Just like today, I only took two. Um, you know, so there was 18 trades over eight days, which is a little over two a day. And we ran it with one contract. And then, and over here, I'm gonna tell you what these, what these numbers mean, okay? And then I'm gonna tell you the importance of this at the end, more than looking at just these numbers, okay? And that's this. <clears throat> the first one up here means that we went with a 20 tick target, a five tick stop loss, and no trailing stop. Just, just don't even have the trailing stop. Just enter the trade, see if it works. Now, there's a reason we did that. Because what we found is every trailing stop we did on any of these was just choking the trades. Ironically, the optimum profitability in every one of these strategies came by just leaving, leaving the stop alone. Uh, I'm only giving you the five that I want to talk about. We did a lot more than five. <laughs> we did a lot more simulations and and we're talking for eight trading days just visualize how many days we went through and analyze because it's eight for that 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 eight for this one eight for this one eight for this i mean there's six seven more that we did but anyways and matt did the bulk of this work so i'm not going to sit here and take credit for it <clears throat> but anyways um so the first one talks about we did with a 20 tick target because again, we're going from 9.45 to 10.30. So that's when the market's got the, the most juice in it, okay? With no trailing stop, just leave the stop at minus five. And we had a 37% win rate and we, we made $924, okay? Well, that's eight trading days. That's a, that's a little over a hundred bucks a day. Again, enough to pass your your eval, if all you're doing is focusing from 9.45 to 10, and this is one contract. This is just one contract. It's just one contract. So, you know, what does two do, okay? So then the next one is we gave it, we gave it a little bit more room. We went with 20 tick target, seven tick stop, no trailer, just leave the seven alone. Your win rate went to 42% because of that, you know, the, the pullbacks that would happen when you enter. And you got $961, one contract. Okay. So next we said, well, why don't we expand the target? I wasn't a big fan of this, <laughs> but Matt likes to run a different bunch of simulations. I wasn't a big fan of this, but anyways, but he ran it to 25 because you know how I, I'm very biased about my five points because I, I, I see the market soften at five points. But he ran for 25 with a 10 tick stop, no trailer. And the win rate went to 50%. And that one contract in those eight days, one contract in those eight days made $1,615. And you're starting to see this here. Now, let's go to the one I'm more more, you know, more in my ballpark, which is the 20 tick, which is the five, five points with a 10. So, so you're doing a two to one here, a two to one. So your targets two times your stop and no trailer, 61% win rate, by the way, uh, when we ran this stuff 
from like 8.30 to 11, okay? With 8.30 to 9.20 for three points with a one and a half point stop, so two to one. And the same thing from 10.30 to 11 with a one and a half point stop. And, and the 20 with 10, we ran a 57% win rate. 57% win rate is, is really good. So here you're sitting here with 61% win rate. So that would give you, that, it would be a more profitable because you're actually trading from 8.30 all the way to 11. But again, just the 9.45 to 10.30 stuff with a 20 tick target, 10 tick stop, no trailer, 61%, $1,803. So by doing, just by doubling your stop, giving the trade more room because the market's got that, Bear bullshit going on right now, big time. Um, your win rate increased significantly and your uh, profit doubled. Still, all of these are profitable, but your profit doubled. Okay? So then, just for shits and giggles, today when I was getting ready to do this video, Matt and I were talking and... Um, and, uh, and I, I, I said, you know, I wonder if we run this out just a little more. I hate, I hate to go more than the, the two to one. Well, let's just kind of see what, what happens. So he ran it today, even though he's working. Uh, he has a full-time job, just like me. Um, he ran it and, and shot me the data. And he's going to do a video of it tonight and send it to me so I can actually confirm that all this is accurate. But we had 20 with a 15 stop, no trailer, 78, 78% win rate, and a $2,678 profit. Now I'm gonna I'm gonna explain something to everybody here. Okay. See this? And this is what I told Matt when he told me this. I said, you know what, Matt? We shouldn't be shocked. And he's like, why is that? I said, well, because if you remember, every one minute gold line trade we're taking is in agreement with the five minute chart. So we are intentionally forcing ourselves to take trades on the right side of the market. So we really shouldn't be surprised that when we're on the right side of the market, if we just give it a little bit more room to work itself, that it'll prove to us that we were correct on the side of the market we were in. Now, I bring this up because these are the kind of things that um, every one of you should learn how to do in the future yourself, is to go back, reevaluate your trades, reevaluate um, your strategy, reevaluate what's going on, on a routine basis. Perfect example, I was talking to Matt about this. I said, you know, Matt, all these numbers would be meaningless in June, July, and August. And he's like, you're 100% correct. Because 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 you can't get the 20 points in August, in general. You can have a lot of rollover that comes and takes you out because the market just doesn't have the thrust. Um, but with the way the market is, and, 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 and you may have to, reevaluate some of this as the holidays get closer too. Okay. But because again, things could get soft, but January, February, March, you know, bam, 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 bam. These numbers over here are how many, there was, there was, uh, how many losing trades there were out of 18. Five, four, three, two, one. That's it. Was that right? Is that what I was doing? Wait, what was that? What was that statistic? Oh, losing days. God, losing days. This is how many days you lost. 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 Losing days. Now, one of the things I need, I, I want to bring up is that for you to be mechanical, for you to take trades, you need to, you need to, 
do things like this. You need to evaluate your strategy, be it my continuation trade strategy or be whatever strategy you want, so that when you, you, you know the rules and when you mechanically enter them, you're doing the one main thing to, if this is the profitability line of that strategy, and that you're capturing the most of it as you can. You're doing the one thing to do that. That is the mechanical rhythmic entries and trading without fear. That's how you optimize these things. So um, I can tell you this, I, I, I adopted this one the last couple of days and it's worked for me. Uh, matter of fact, I, I, I made, $250 today on two trades, trading this one, this strategy right here, that the way it worked, I wouldn't have, uh, I wouldn't have been profitable on either. Both of them would have actually knocked me out of break even the way um, I was trading it before we did this analysis. Um, not that, not that breaking even on money uh, on a, in a day is a bad thing either, but, but I took two trades uh, I went long at 10.10 uh, 10, at 38.25.25 and hit target at 38.30.25 for five points. And then I went long at uh, just before I was done trading at an entry, long at 10.16. Uh, and the thing rolled back at me, against me. And I lost my, uh, I lost my 10 ticks. So, but I made 250 bucks, two trades, just two trades and just rhythmically entered them, rhythmically let them go, just blind, let them be what they would be. So, you know, 250 bucks is not a big, you know, you know, and, and here's the thing. Yesterday was slow. Today's slow. I mean, it's election day. So I really didn't expect much out of today anyways. Um, but, um, I'll see if I can figure out how to get the video that Matt's doing today. Let me review it for the last 18 days on this strategy. Let me review it. By the way, these numbers are all net of commissions. These are all net of commissions. So these are the actual P&L numbers. Okay. Let me see if I can, um, let me try to review that video and then see if I can figure out how to load it on our, on our, on our YouTube channel. Um, another thing is, Jesus, mother of, Jesus, mother. Um, there's over a thousand people that have subscribed to this channel since, since August 15th. <laughs> That's astounding. And I'm going to tell you guys another thing. Um, there is not a day that goes by anymore that I don't get a message from somebody saying, holy cow, you changed my trading, whatnot. I've had 15 year traders message me. Um, seven year traders. I've got messages from people and uh, yeah, I had one message me today that he, that he booked three, I think it was $3,000 in three days using my strategy. And now he's passed his eval and he's just waiting for the timeline. Uh, you know, anyways, um, if these are all, this is all great news. Um, all of them are astounded that they get to do all this for free. <laughs> yeah, for free. It is free, folks. Anyways, um, I'm not asking anybody for any money. I'm not telling you you have to trade my strategy. I'm just telling you what I'm doing. Um, anyways, um, I'm going to do some more work on some of this data, get you guys some more info. I'm, I'm kind of a data geek, and Matt is definitely a data geek is so great. That's one of the great things about this channel is I've come across people to help for various things. Um, it's been very rewarding. And everything that I get from people, I turn around, regurgitate it, put it in useful information, and I give it back out to you guys. Uh, it's just like, a, it's just an open community. So, I mean, there's so much money running through the ES. I'm not, I don't have any reason to hide anything. You know what I mean? It's not like, ooh, I got a secret. You know, I got, I'm going to take this trade and not tell you about it <laughs> because there's, too, there's so much money flowing through it. We could all take the trade. It doesn't matter. 
But we're going to be working on the same kind of data collection for uh, the five minute gold line trade. And we're going to be doing it for the overnight open trade. And, um, and uh, so we can get some profitability estimates for people. And on a go forward basis, we're going to continue to evaluate these things in gaps of timelines. You know, like, like I said, this was eight days. It was really two weeks of trading, but you had to eliminate FOMC and, you know, another day for something I can't remember, but um, definitely not FOMC day. So anyways, that's it. I hope everybody uh, got something out of this video. Um, I'm not telling you how to handle your stops. I'm just telling you what the data has shown us in the recent past. I am telling you that I've adopted this, this one right here for right now. And uh, I would have had zero dollars and zero cents today, but I made 250 by using that strategy. Okay, talk to you guys later. Bye.